There was a host on MSNBC, Tiffany Cross, who uh, just recently attacked Bill Maher. Bill Maher is a liberal, uh, but he's a white guy, and he's a liberal who is not totally politically correct, and so he sometimes goes after the excesses of the woke people, and you know, he reserves most of his criticism for the right, but a little bit for the left. That was too much for MSNBC, delves right into the identity politics of identity politics. This is a black woman saying that that white man needs to shut his mouth. Okay, Bill Maher has been whack for a long time. From his makeout session with the blackface expert, Megyn Kelly, to his infamous use of the N-word on his show, for which he later apologized, and his continual, mostly white weekly panels where he sings sob songs to them about the perils of the shrinking demographic and chides anyone who falls even slightly outside of his myopic, privileged view. Anybody find it interesting that this quote-unquote liberal ally is sounding a lot like a moderate Fox News contributor? Bill Maher, you do not get to tell people of color what they should or should not be offended by. Stay in your lane, Slim. Try that instead of standing on your alabaster perch every week to crap on other people's lived experience while providing a safe haven for well-established white supremacists. Because I got to tell you, this old angry white man act is so played. The truth is, what's happening now is an evolution. And you are fighting for your power and privilege to not become fossilized while basking in the rays of your own non-existent cleverness and comedy bits circa three decades ago. And quite frankly, it's just offensive at this point. The country, like it or not, is changing in real time. And sadly, fake time with Bill Maher is not. Whoa, man, this woman is a vile, vile racist, right? Do you, I mean, I know the word racist doesn't mean anything anymore because the left has watered it down to mean nothing. But if racist means anything, it means that woman, right? This entire attack is on Bill Maher because he's white. His alabaster perch, stay in your lane, white man. How dare you question the lived experiences of black people? How dare you question the lived experience of that white guy named Bill Maher? (laughs) What you, by, by your own logic, you're saying you, one cannot ever criticize the opinions and actions of someone of another race, right? But that's exactly what you're doing, and you're doing it on the basis of race. Even crazier, you'll very often hear the left say that uh, there is this crazy conspiracy theory that the left wants to uh, uh, replace white people as a, a demographic in the United States and that they're cheering it on as the process of immigration and, and things like that lead to a declining demographic. And that's a sick white supremacist conspiracy theory. She's, she's the one articulating it. <laughs> she's the one saying the demographics are changing. It's inevitable. You're losing your power and that's good. This is evolution. You're, you're ossifying. You're turning into a fossil on the basis of your race and other races are gaining in power and we're going to have a racial politics and you just need to shut up and take it. That is, I don't know of any, well, first of all, how many white supremacists are there in America? I don't know, like three and they all work for the FBI, but, but I've never heard of, of a white supremacist articulating that alleged conspiracy theory nearly as clearly as that woman on MSNBC. Vile, vile politics. That's what she's saying to him. This is it. I, I don't think that she knows what she's saying. I don't, th- I think she much like the, the broad, the the left broadly, and this leftist broad, by the way, (laughs) I I think that she is living in the unknown known, that this just, this ideology is blinding her to the, the glaring contradictions in what she's saying. Or if it's not a contradiction or if it's not hypocrisy, then it's just this double standard and it's double standard along the lines of race and to a lesser degree, sex in this case. Because Bill Maher's big transgression is not just that he's white, but he's, he's a white man. And that's very terrible, and you're not, not allowed to criticize anybody. I'm glad you liked that clip. We've got a whole episode. It's called Unknown Knowns. Check it out right here on YouTube. You can get it also on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all those different places. And you can also buy my book, the national bestseller, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. Thank you so much to everyone who has ordered that book already. Really appreciate all of you. If you haven't gotten it yet, go get it. See you next time.